Hey everybody, in a previous video we have talked about hepatic artery thrombosis. Okay, so please go ahead and watch that first. Now let's talk about portal vein thrombosis. It's a pre-hepatic form of obstruction of blood flow to the liver. And in the previous video, we classified pre-hepatic, intrahepatic, post-hepatic causes of obstruction of blood flow. So please go ahead and watch the previous video first discussing hepatic artery thrombosis. Let's get started. Okay, so hepatic artery thrombosis was the previous video. Now let's talk about portal vein thrombosis. Portal vein thrombosis, what are the causes? First, something called pile phlebitis. Pile is the portal vein, phleb means vein, itis means inflammation. So it's inflammation of the portal vein, pile phlebitis. What are the causes of pile phlebitis? Okay, it's spread from different sites, such as perforated appendicitis, peritonitis, diverticulitis. They spread to the portal vein, since the portal vein has territories to these areas, or from other methods of spread. This is pyelophlebitis. Also, other causes of portal vein thrombosis is polycythemia vera because it increases blood viscosity and according to Verchow's triad this will lead to thrombosis. Also liver cancer, hepatocellular carcinoma through direct spread to the portal vein. But clinically what is the presentation? So the portal vein is the union of the splenic vein and the superior mesenteric vein. This is the Mercedes sign, the Mercedes logo, okay? Portal vein, splenic vein, superior mesenteric vein. So when I block this, everything behind it will start to pile up. Will start, blood will start to accumulate and back up before this. So we will have splenomegaly. Okay, that's number one. What else? This blood, when accumulates, will go to the interstitial space. This is called edema. Edema in the abdomen, we call it ascites. Okay, peritoneal cavity. Also, we have something called portosystemic shunt. When I block this road, I'll have to go to another way okay and the other way is the other system the systemic one so we have portal and systemic shifting from here to here is called porto systemic shunt so here's the portal vein this will be the inferior vena cava from the portal to the inferior vena cava territory it's called porto systemic shunt what are the symptoms of porto systemic shunt the main one the main ones are one, esophageal varices. Number two, caput midosa. Number three, piles, okay, or hemorrhoids. Okay, however, pay attention, pay attention, please, pay attention. There is no hepatomegaly in portal vein thrombosis. Why? Because the liver is after the blockage, not before it. When I block something, everything before it will start to pile up. Blood will back up and accumulate. So everything here will swell. But this is not before it, this is after it. So there is no hepatomegaly in portal vein thrombosis. This is extremely high yield. How to treat this condition? How to treat portal vein thrombosis? It's a thrombosis. So we can use anticoagulants. It's a thrombosis, it's a blockage, we can bypass it, okay? If it's over, what's the last resort? Always liver transplant. 
So that's it. It's pretty simple. Study hard and see you in the next video. But for now, please subscribe. Thank you very much for your support. See you.